The use of concrete soon spread to the heart of Rome, where it was employed in building temples, public baths, and even gigantic domes like that of the Pantheon, which remains to this day the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. The secret of Roman concrete's strength lay in the chemical reaction between volcanic ash, lime, and water. When the ash, rich in silica and alumina, was mixed with lime, new minerals such as tobermorite and philipsite formed crystalline minerals that gave the concrete exceptional strength and durability. The Romans did not fully understand the chemical details of these reactions, but they observed the astonishing results and were careful to use volcanic ash from specific sources, having discovered that the quality of the ash greatly affected the strength of the concrete. Over time, Roman concrete became a symbol of engineering innovation and was associated with some of the greatest architectural achievements in history. The Romans built with concrete their giant aqueducts that brought fresh water from the mountains to the cities, as well as theaters, public baths, and even massive arenas like the Colosseum, which could accommodate tens of thousands of spectators. These structures were not mere buildings, but manifestations of Rome's greatness, a message to the world that this empire could conquer time and nature. At the heart of all these achievements, Roman concrete remained a mystery that puzzled scientists for centuries. How did the Romans manage to invent a building material with such strength and flexibility? What made their concrete withstand earthquakes, waves, and weather, while modern concrete collapses after only a few decades? With the advancement of material science in the modern era, scientists began to decipher the code of Roman concrete and uncover its hidden secrets.